We're here to learn a little bit about the automotive technology department at OTC. And we have our department head, Tony Muglia, who's also one of our instructors. Hi there, how you doing today? I'm doing good, how are you? Good, really good. Let me tell you a little bit about our program okay. and why you want to come to OTC. Okay, let me tell you first off and start and foremost it is, is because of the instructors. What do I mean by that? All the instructors here have all been out in the field first and then become the instructors second. Another good reason for coming to Oklahoma Technical College, it's because of the tools we provide for you to use while you're here. Most colleges you go to, when you go to them, you get in, you get going, you have to purchase tools in order to be stay in the program down there. Which I don't ever say is a bad thing, but the reason I'm saying this with us is what we really need you to do is come here and show up. I'll show you over here at this toolbox that we have, and this toolbox shows that we have a full supply of tools for everybody that's here in here. You can hand around and see the toolboxes in front of the cars. As well as the next thing we have, we also have a whole bunch more in the back room that have just your basic hand tools that are in there. Now we have enough that we can supply every student that comes through here with what they need to be able to show up in the classroom and go to work. So if you have a desire to learn, want to really make, it, make something out of this, if you really want to learn about the program, the automotive industry, and an industry that will take you anywhere, this is what it's going to take to make that start down there. Any questions you have up to this point? Yeah, so what is it about you that makes you a good instructor? Why is your program special? I believe the big thing is the feedback I get from my students on there. Number one, I'm always available to them. We have a limit to where we cut it off at night and then one and on Sundays is out. But other than that, I'm available pretty much any time during the day. I've been an instructor now for 10 years. And in that 10 years, I'm still in contact with some of my first students that I had in my very first class. And this is something that we, we teach here when we're here. You don't have to know everything about a car. You need to know who to call. Yeah. That is a big thing. That's the real part about automotive technology that makes it special on there. I know a lot about one brand of car. This person knows a lot about another brand of car. That person knows a lot about another brand of car. And it's a whole big group that we can send everybody to to help you get the answers that you need. So students are able to have the resources that they need to be able to be successful in their field. You're not just giving them a certificate and saying, all right, good luck. You're connecting them with the resources that they need. You're a resource for them as they're gone. They can always call their instructors. They can always call career services, any of those kinds of things. Oh, absolutely. And our placement has really been really high in the automotive industry. Because of being a technician in this town for almost 20 years, I know a lot of people. The automotive industry is huge in a whole, but in Tulsa, Oklahoma, it is a small area. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of folks out there now that were either technicians with me and now uh, managers, shop mm -hmm. foremen, things like that. And we have a lot of placement that we can give out there. One of our biggest placement, one of our biggest people that we place in town here is, a, is um, one of the local dealerships. Okay. okay? A very high-end dealership. They look for people. They don't look for the best technician, they look for the right people. Mm -hmm. I always like to tell folks on here, and this is a big one, when you're teaching in and you're giving back to this industry here, I say we teach as much about life as we do about the cars. The yeah. cars are easy. Everybody wants to learn about the cars, that's why they're here. Yeah. But there's more to it than that. When you go into the industry, you have to learn how to be your own businessman. Yeah. because we're paid on a flat rate typically mm -hmm. which means the more you work the more you make if you're not working you're not making any money you can't support yourself i never worried about where i was working there's plenty of work for everybody out there mm -hmm. so we teach about that teach about not being a workaholic yeah. teach about being a family man balance. okay balance yeah. i think that's the one thing that we don't see enough of that i see a lot of on there one of the biggest things as an instructor that makes me proud of all is when they come back, our students will come back six months, year, two years later, and just say thank you. Thank you for helping me get yeah. and make my dream happen. Another thing that makes Oklahoma Technical College special is the fact that we're a nonprofit organization. Our goal is to make our students successful, and everything that our instructors do, everything about our program is working towards that goal. So Tony, can you show me a little bit more about Yeah, that? sure. Let's head this way over here. I want to show you some more things about the program that we have. 
We cover all eight areas of ASC, and ASC is Automotive Service Excellence. What that is, is that's where our, our students go to get trained, or where they take their tests so that they can now say that I'm certified in the industry. We give them the information to get there, but that's where it is. Eight areas are steering suspension, brakes, manual transmission, automatic transmission, tune-up, heating and air conditioning, and the big one is electrical. As you can see as we're walking down through here, we've got multiple different pieces and parts of stuff hanging around. Our classes down here are run around three weeks for each side of it, except for electrical. It's nine full weeks of electrical. It's broke up into three sections, but that's where it goes. And as you can see, we get kind of deep into our cars. This one right here is one that has some engine work and transmission work done. That's why it looks like it does right here. But you come down through here as you see multiple pieces and parts down here. The equipment that we use in the shop is up to date and what it takes to be able to become a technician out here. In today's world, I started and went through the school of hard knocks. In today's world, that can't be done. One of, here's a good reason why. You see some older cars out there. When you go to fix them and make it going out, we're gonna take something as simple as moving the mirror on the right side of the car. Years ago, we used to have a switch over here that was wired and it would go to this mirror and move it. Nowadays, what we have is we have module driven. We have to take something like this right here, which is a scanner, okay? And I can actually see this happen on this right here. The switch now tells a driver's door module to tell a central control module to tell a passenger door module to move that mirror. Wow. Sounds kind of complicated, don't it? <laughs> well, actually it is, but it is not. They've actually gotten easier on this, but complicated at the same time, because I can see all that happening with this and be able to diagnose that. Okay. You hear a lot of people that come in out there and they go and they have their car scanned because they have a check engine light and they tell them, well, you need this part and this part and toy the parts, put them on the car, it still doesn't fix it. There's a difference between a professional parts changer and a professional mechanic or a technician. I always say a technician works for, his, for your wallet and a mechanic works for his. What do I mean by that? Well, they'll take these same things like this scanner right here and they'll read them and you'll find that you have an oxygen sensor code. Real big problem. Yeah. Okay, now the difference between me and somebody else looking at this is around here we teach our students to look at the fuel trims. We're looking at the injector pulse time. We're looking to see there is high oxygen content in there, all because you may have a plugged up fuel filter, which is the problem. We go and we diagnose the root cause of it, not just replace a part because a computer tells us, well, this is most likely what it is. That's not what being a technician is like today mm -hmm. on there. Any other questions I might be able to answer for you? What kind of students do you have? What's the demographic of them? Oh man, we have everything from right out of high school at 18 years old all the way up into 40s and 50s on there. We also have a lot of ladies that come through our program. Awesome. This is a big, the automotive industry is not just for men. It is for ladies too out there. Just think of it like this. Now look at how big my hands are, right? I can't get into some of those small places. Okay, here's another thing that we like to do. I'm a bull in a china shop. I'm going this way as fast as possible. Imagine when you have somebody in the diagnostic world that we're in that thinks a little bit, moves a little bit slower, and is able to diagnose a car 10 times faster. So that's really where I've seen the big change come on on there. And as we do have more men come through here than the ladies, but the up, what I'm seeing more and more of is more ladies getting into this industry. Mm -hmm. And it's a great industry to get in. Yeah. It takes you anywhere you want to go and jobs are in short supply and very, very high demand. Any other questions I might be able to answer for you? So when can students start your program? We can start every three weeks. Great. Okay. So what do I mean by that? First thing you're going to do is sign up. The beginning of each class is three weeks long. So we do it in sections. Steering and suspension is one section. Heating and air is another suspension. On and on and on as we go down through there. Okay, so once you go through each section, because we teach by section, we don't teach from well, you gotta start here and end here. We teach everything about this section, everything about this section, everything about this section. And then in the end, you get to where you have the whole piece as you get done through there. So you've kind of done a cycle through the different sections and they can hop in in a different cycle. That's right, but they have to, they come in at the beginning of each cycle, yeah. not at a semester. 
Gotcha. So we start year round. This is a career college. What does career college mean? That means that you're coming here to become a professional. This is just like coming to a job, but you're learning to become that professional and that's what it really takes on there. Our classes are Monday through Friday, 7 to 12 o'clock on the morning shift. On there is what we have right now to offer our students. So those are, we have, our classes are not real big. So what does that mean? More one-on-one -on -one training for you down there. Awesome. I get a lot of people that ask me, what's the pay like for the automotive industry? And I said, well, you know, there's a lot of things that can happen down there. You're going to start down here like any other job. Most guys end right here in the middle, somewhere in this range right here. And then there's that elite top 5%. When I talk about those, that's 5% in the country or the world. Now, what's it take to get all the way up here? It takes a lot of work and a lot of dedication. Something yeah. that you're going to not earn overnight, yep. but it is something that you can use anytime and anywhere. I never say the automotive world is recession proof, but did you drive here today? I did. So what is that really telling us out there? We need a lot of technicians. What are we doing? We're repairing these cars and we're also servicing these cars. Out of all the other professions out there in the world, how do people get to work? Cars. Cars or trucks or buses or some way to get there. Some type of mode of transportation. That's what makes the automotive industry so special out there. So Tony, why should someone want to get into the automotive industry? Well, it's a career that'll take you anywhere you want to go around the world. Just remember something when you come to OTC. You're not just training for a job, you're training for a rewarding career in the automotive industry that will take you anywhere you want to go. Awesome, well thank you so much. If you need any more information, you can go to our website, oklahomatechnicalcollege.com and click to get more enrollment info, or you can call one of our admissions reps at 918 895-7500. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us.